Hi, in this video you will learn how to deploy your stream lit apps on a live server. So by the end of this video, everyone will be able to visit your web app through a public URL which will be generated automatically. So let's begin. The requirement is that you should have your Streamlit app on a standalone PyCharm project. What I mean by that is you shouldn't have any other files which are not related to your web app. For example, we have this GUI.py which creates a desktop graphical user interface. Now that is unrelated to the web app. The files we need are functions.py and web.py and also todos.txt. Therefore, before you deploy something, you should have that app only in the project on your IDE. Therefore, I'm going to go to file and create a new project. I'll name this web app one and make sure this new environment using virtual env is selected and press on create. So that will create a new project and a new virtual environment. So I'll press on new window. If you press on this window, the existing window will be closed. So, so now I need that existing window because I need to copy functions.py web.py and to do's.txt, copy them, go here, delete that default main.py file and in the project directory you want to select there and paste those files. Right, so now I have web.py, functions.py and to do's.txt. The next thing we want to do is We want to install the needed libraries, so I can just hover my mouse here and this will show up and then I can go to install package streamlit. Otherwise, you can use the Python packages interface here to search for streamlit and to search and install the other packages as well, which are, yeah, that's it, only streamlit. So wait for the installation to finish. And please note that Streamlit takes a while to install. And Streamlit was installed successfully on my computer. Now the next step is, of course, you want to try out if the app is working fine. So open the terminal, make sure this venv in parentheses is there. If it's not, there is some problem with your project on PyCharm. So streamlit run web.py, press enter. Check the localhost URL and see if it's working. Yeah, it's working well. Yeah, so the app is working well. We can stop it with control C in the terminal here. And the next step is to create a requirements.txt file. I'll explain you what that is. To create that file, you want to do pip freeze greater than and then you say requirements.txt. Be careful with the typos, this has to be exactly as you see it here. So don't use capital letters. R-E-Q-U-I-R-E-M-E-N-T-S dot T-X-T. Press enter and that will generate 
a requirements.txt file here in the project directory. You may need to reload it with that reload from disk button. And there we go. So what is requirement.txt? This is a file which will be uploaded to the server where we host this web app. So that server should know all the Python libraries the server needs to install in order to run the web app correctly. So the server has Python installed. And even though it does have Python installed, it doesn't have all the packages available third-party packages so you have to tell the server what packages your app needs to run correctly and these are the packages that our app uses so we installed streamlit only but streamlit has installed some dependencies so other packages which streamlit needs to run correctly so all those packages together with their versions are listed in here. So the server will get this file and it will install all these packages and then run our app using the Python installed on that server. And that Python is going to have these packages. I hope that's clear. So the command here, what it does is it uses pip freeze and then basically if you do just pip freeze you get the list of those packages in the command line. But by doing that, you write those package names and their versions to this requirements.txt file. So that's it. Next thing to do is we need to upload our project to GitHub. So for that, you first need to enable version control we're using git, press OK. Then you want to go to your GitHub account and go to new repository. Give a name for your repository, such as my to-do app. Make it public or private, whatever you prefer. And press on create repository. Then you want to copy that link there. That's the link to your repository. Go to git manage remotes and plus and add that URL that you copied in there. Press OK. OK again. And then you want to commit first. Make sure that the files are added. So you want to go to project. You want to make sure that you add all the required files. Before we want to create a dot git ignore file. Press enter. You can add it or add it later. I'll just cancel for now. It's fine either way. So here we want to Ignore the van folder. We don't want it to be uploaded. And also a hidden .idea folder. And that's it. Now I want to select git ignore functions.py requirements to do.txt web.py. Right click, go to git and add those files. And then we want to commit. And these are the files that are to be committed initial commit as a commit message, press on commit, and then push those changes to GitHub. Push. And I get this message that the master was pushed to origin master. So if I reload this page, I should see all the files. Now we're ready to synchronize github with the server where we're hosting our web app to do that you can again go to the terminal and run the app with streamlit run web app.py 
you want to go to localhost and if you go to this button here menu button and you can go to deploy this app you can ignore this message continue anyway And that should open share.streamly.io, that page. If it's not opening at all, you may need to turn off your VPN. And if you don't see this page, you may see another page where you need to sign up for an account on share.streamly.io and then sign in. And after you sign in, maybe you need to do that again. So deploy this app and that should take you to this page. So that should reflect that path here. In my case, it's that, my to-do app. So make sure it's the same for you. Yeah, so the branch is master by default. You can check that. In here, it's master in my case. And the main file path is web.py. You can remove that to re uh, get rid of that warning. So Ardit Sulcha teaching slash my to do app without the dot git part. So that should reflect your web app. Web.py is the entry point of my app, which is a Python file that we run. And press on deploy. Then wait a while until your app is deployed. And there we go. So this is what Streamlit showed to me. So that's my app deployed and that's the public URL. So it's shared.streamly.io Ardit Sulja teaching my to do app slash web.py. And it works just fine. If you go to manage app, you should see the logs here. So if you have a problem with your app, you should see some errors here to try to understand what the exact error is. Maybe you can post your error to the Q&A in the course so we can help. So with that, that's how you can deploy your web apps on the Streamlit service. So Streamlit gives you both the library to create the web apps, but also this free cloud service. Of course, it is also possible to deploy Streamlit apps on other servers such as DigitalOcean, uh, but the process is a bit more demanding. So the deployment process requires some more steps. With that, I'll thank you for following this video. Thanks a lot, see you later.